You finally learned how to design a website with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and you want to show the world your amazing website you worked on for hours and hours. You're excited, you have your project ready, but now what? I'm going to show you an amazing service where you can upload a website with literally one click of a button without you having to go through the hassle to upload your site on a traditional server. And the best thing about it, it's also for free. Today I'm going to show you how to upload a website to Netlify. Netlify is a serverless backend service for websites. That means you can upload your sites and the great thing is, it's extremely easy to use, fast and has all the functionalities you need, nothing more, nothing less. So it's no surprise that Netlify has been a household name in the industry since a couple of years now. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Netlify is free but has a paid plan, but don't worry, for basic and even advanced functionality, it's free forever. So you don't have to worry that it's just like a 30 day trial, so you can really use it for important live sites. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a site from a folder, how to deploy a website from Git, and some settings you have to know, like how to add a form submission. So let's start. First of all, you have to create an account with Netlify. If you did that, your home site will look something like this. So if you want to upload a folder without a Git connection, it's very easy. You just drag it in here. And you can see in a couple of seconds, our website has been deployed. We even have our link here. And this is our little ugly website we just uploaded. Netlify will give you this usually funny name, but we can change that and I'm going to show you that later. But first let's upload a website with Git. We go back to the main page and we choose new site from Git. Then here you can log in to whichever service you use. For me it's GitHub. And I'm already authorized, maybe you have to authorize it here too. But let's find our folder. And here we can choose which branch we want to deploy. If we have a special build command, we can put it in here like npm run build. And here our published directory, which could be this or build or whatever. But for this project, we don't have that. So we just deploy it like this. And we can see our website has been deployed. And every time we make changes and commit them to GitHub, it will change here automatically too, which is amazing. So let's try that out. We go dev world Sam, save that, commit the changes. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, I have a video in the description down below, which will show you how to work with Git and GitHub in VS Code. So let's commit the changes. And we should see the changes in a couple of seconds. So what are some settings you have to know? Let's go from top to bottom. Here, as I said, is our funny name. What we can do is change the site name here. So if, for example, you have a project you want to show your customer, it looks a little nicer. And now we can see also the URL has changed. Then here in the build deploy, you can edit the settings like I told you before. So here, for example, build command could be gulp or npm run build. If you have something like that and the publish directory could be dist or pub public, something like that. And then Netlify would automatically build from, let's say your source folder into your published directory. So your build process becomes very, very efficient and it works like a charm. We don't have that here. Another important setting is of course the custom domain. So you can add a custom domain, either you buy it via Netlify or you maybe have it with Namecheap or Bluehost or something like that. You can just add your custom domain here. And then another amazing feature you have is that you can include the forms. The only thing in your HTML you have to do is in your forms and you can have multiple forms on your website, you add the keyword Netlify to your forms opening tag. And that's all you have to do. Then Netlify will recognize the form and will give you 100 free submissions per month. And you can even set up notifications. So either to Slack, a webhook or an email notification. like this, and then every time you get a form submission, you will get an email. The last setting I'm gonna show you is in general. 
scroll all the way down to delete the website. You copy this. And now the website is deleted. The only one that stays is the one with the manual deploy, which is dragged in here. And that's pretty much what you have to know about Netlify if you have a simple website you want to upload. With Netlify you can even upload web applications with environment variables and much much more. After using it for a couple of months now I really have to say it's an amazing amazing service they offer especially because it's for free. I hope this video helped. If it did please leave it a like and if you want to see more tutorials like these don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.